Hey everybody, Dan from On One here. Have you ever wished that you could make a copy of something in your photo so you could have multiple copies of it? Well, you can do that now with the healing brush. Let me show you how. Let's use this photo as an example. This horse looks so lonely, I bet he'd like to horse around with another horse, so let's make a copy of the horse so that he has someone else to play with. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab the retouch tool, make sure I've got the healing brush selected, and up in the mode selector, I'm going to grab the copy option. There we go. Let me make my brush big enough here that we can cover up our entire horse, and I'm just going to paint over him or her. Make sure we get everything. All right, there we go. And when we let go, bam, it's going to automatically make a copy of the horse. Now, if we had two of the exact same horses next to each other, it would look a little obvious. So let's make the other one a little smaller and flip it around so it's not quite so obvious. So I'm going to hold down the Option key on my keyboard, or the Alt key on a Windows computer. I'm going to click the Flip button down here at the bottom so it flips from left to right. There we go. And then I'm just going to go up to one of the corners. I'm going to hold down the Shift key while I do this, so the Shift and the Alt key or Option key. That's going to lock the proportions, and I'm just going to make that horse a little bit smaller. It's going to make it look like it's further away in the background, right? And then I'm just going to simply move it in the photo so that it aligns correctly with the horizon. There we go. And voila, there we go. We've been able to copy the horse, flip it, scale it, so that we now have a little buddy for the horse to play with. Let me show you on another photo how you can put this copy feature to work. All right, let's take this photo. Here I've got a windmill in the foreground that's large, and I've got another one in the middle ground that's a little bit smaller. Let's say I want to add a third windmill right over here, and it needs to be even smaller. So same technique. Make sure I've got the Retouch Tool group selected, the Healing Brush selected, and the Mode set to copy. I just got to paint over that, make sure I get everything in it. So I make sure I get the middle, and I get the little parts that catch the wind, which I should know what the name is, but I don't. There you go. It's going to make a copy of it. I'm just going to drag that copy over here. I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key on my keyboard. And that way I can scale it. I'm also going to flip it so it's a little less obvious that it's a direct copy. There we go. And then it's just a matter of kind of positioning it where I want it in the scene. In this case, I want it to look like it's slightly further back in the water. So I'm just going to stick it right back here on the edge of my photo. There we go. I can always adjust the feather to help blend in that sky a little bit better. There we go. Perfect. I think the last thing I would do on a photo like this is probably crop it so I can get kind of a longer panorama look and not have this green grass on the side. So I'll just grab my crop tool. I'll pick the 16 by 9 panoramic aspect ratio and then I'll just adjust this in so that I get just kind of from building to building something like that. There we go. That was fun. I was able to make it a panoramic photo with this repeating pattern of three different windmills in a realistic way using the new copy option on the healing brush. There you go. Thanks for watching.